Welcome to Daily Strength. This is Joe Stoll, and we're going to chat for a minute about getting back on the road again. You know, I hate being lost. I've always had a good sense of direction and can usually find my way around without much trouble. But on those rare occasions that I lose my way, I hate not knowing where I'm going. And being a man, (laughs) it's unthinkable that I'd ever stop and ask directions. You know, it used to be that we could rely on a good map to get us around. But now with tools like MapQuest and GPS systems, we have no excuse for being lost. And in some situations, we really can't afford to be lost. You know, like a bride on her way to the church where the groom is waiting. You really don't want to get lost. And the man driving his pregnant wife to the hospital had better know how to get there and fast. But more importantly, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, you can't afford to be lost. You see, following Christ means that we stay on the road with him. And if you ask me what road Jesus travels, I would answer that his road is always the glory road. Throughout his entire life and ministry, one dynamic was always in play. He lived to demonstrate the glory of his Father to this watching world. When John summarized the life of Jesus as though someone had asked him to describe Jesus in 25 words or less, he pointed out that Jesus made his dwelling among us and noted that the disciples had seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, full of grace and truth. Simply put, Jesus came to glorify God by showing us what God was really like. He traveled the glory road all the way to the cross, where the love, mercy, grace, justice, and holiness of God were demonstrated in a dramatic moment of servanthood and sacrifice. But it wasn't just at the cross. In all of his relationships and encounters, he showed us what God his Father was like. The glory of God's compassion touched the blind, and they could see. The glory of God's intolerance with religious pride and hypocrisy was clearly seen in Christ's dealing with the Pharisees. God's justice and advocacy for the poor and oppressed became very evident when Jesus turned the tables in the temple and chased out the thieves who were overcharging poor pilgrims who simply came to worship God. God's faithfulness and loyal love was consistently demonstrated in Christ's patient tolerance of the often misguided thoughts and attitudes of his disciples. So, to be a follower of Jesus means that we must be on the road with him, the glory road. That's where he travels. And you'll know you're on the right road when your life looks more and more like Jesus in attitude and action, because he is, as Hebrews says, the radiance of God's glory. You'll know that you're getting up to speed with him when you see all your relationships and counters as clear opportunities to make the qualities and characteristics of our glorious God clearly seen and experienced. Now, you can get lost if you want to. Satan has lots of off-ramps, side roads, and detours for you. In fact, he loves it when you're lost. But all of his off-ramps eventually lead to living for our own tainted glory and the fallen glory of Satan himself. And believe me, that's never a pretty picture. So if you're beginning to feel like maybe you're lost, that maybe you aren't really following Christ, welcome to the glory road. Let's get on the road again.